Hey, hello, I'm Julie Jo. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I am so glad that you're here. If you're not new here, welcome back. Today we're going to be watching a video of a live someone did on Instagram. If you hear a noise in the background, it's Luna playing with her toy. She's happy. I'm happy. We'll just grin and bear it. In fact, I'll pop up a picture of her so that, you know, you can see how cute she is. She's the cutest ever, other than my other two. They're all 10 out of 10 cute. Let me just show you all of them. Here's my girls. All three of my girly twirlies. Love them. Anyway, let's get back to it. We're going to be reacting to a live, an Instagram live in particular of, I don't even know what MLM it is. I, don't, I know that they're going to talk about the money you can make and all this stuff. It's going to be a good time for all of us. I mean, not them in this video, but for us. So let's get started. Don't forget, you can hit the subscribe button if you'd like. You can also hit the bell button if you want to get notified when I post. And if you enjoy the video, you can hit the like button. Let's watch. Hello there. I'm going live with Maddie. We're going to tell you all about what it is that we do, how you can get started, and the amount of money that can be made in the month of December because it is literal crazy town. Well, I just want to start off, I know I paused really quickly, by saying that in statistics below that I have in my description, you can look at the Federal Trade Commission statistics and see that 99% of people won't make money in MLMs. But she won't tell you that. I will though. I'm sure there's a reason that she wouldn't tell you. So how we're gonna do it is I'm gonna tell you a little bit about me. She'll tell you a little bit about her. So I'm just gonna get started before she even gets on here so that you're not just like sitting and waiting. So if you don't already know me, um, my, oh, she's so snap. Lighting just got all messed up. Um, if you don't know me, my name is Emma. I am 28 years old. I live right outside of Boston, Massachusetts, and I have been working. You're snappy. Hi. You're real quick. Hi. Um, all right. I'm, I'm just going. I'm just getting into it. Amazing. Um, I have been working in like the social media online space, working an online business for five years now. My life five years ago, I don't need to bore you with like the deep, dirty details, but basically I was a full-time student. I was getting a master's degree. Um, I was working four different jobs. So I had an internship, which was unpaid. Everyone loves working for free. It was really fun. Um, I babysat every single weekend and some nights when I didn't have school. And then I also nanny for two different families. So, okay, pause. She's acting like an internship is meant to be paid. Some are good for you. That's amazing. When I did clinicals, which I guess is like internship at the hospital, it was so that I could get experience and learn. You're not getting money, but you're getting paid in a different way. Knowledge, experience. If I wouldn't have done that, I would not be where I am today. I'm very happy where I am today. Let me put it that way. I'm very grateful for my job. I love what I do. I'm an ultrasound technician, by the way. Without having the experience that I got, there's no way I could be where I am today. Some say you should get paid for internships. You should get paid to be there, whatever, whatever. I get it. I hear you. I understand would be nice. But it's also, why do you feel the need to get paid when people are taking time out of their day to teach you things that you would know otherwise. It's different from a classroom to like actually being in the field, especially when it comes to medical stuff, which is what I'm doing. Oh, four jobs, full-time student, and I had no time for myself, for anyone else in my life, for anything other than either working or school. That was pretty much all I did. Um, and I was so sick of it. It wasn't even funny. I was so burnt out. I All I wanted was like some sort of freedom back into my life. I wanted to be able to like hang out with my friends on the weekends or go on a trip if I wanted to. Or honestly, like those lazy Sundays when you just like sit there doing absolutely nothing. I used to like crave those. I used to be like, I just want to lay in bed with my dog and like watch a Christmas movie. I didn't have that. Let me be very clear. Students don't often get that opportunity. When you're a student, your goal is to learn. You're doing lots of work, lots of homework. For me personally, I got my master's, you know, I experienced all of that. Now, I say students don't get that. Sure. Yeah, sometimes they do. You know, I was in a sorority, but 
that actually took up even more of my time. What I'm trying to say is things change a lot of times when you're out of school. For me personally, now that I'm no longer in school, I get a lot more time to do things that I love. Last night, I spent two hours painting. I play The Sims. I do this. I love doing YouTube. I don't have homework, except I am going to try to get a third registry, which means I'm going to have to study more. But you know what? That's my choice. I don't have to go for that registry if I don't want to, but I want to. All that to say is she's acting like it's not normal to not have a whole a lot of time to yourself in school. Should that change? I don't know. Feel free to have a conversation below. But it's just kind of facts, especially when you're doing your master's degree. You're likely already working. You've got a lot on your plate. That's part of doing it though. And you know that. I couldn't do that ever. And I had come across a girl on social media talking about how she was making an income online and all of this. And I was like, I could never do that. <laughs> There's no way. And I scrolled by and something, I was actually at the time crying in my bed because of a shift the night before that I hated at the bar. It was awful. And something in my body was like, scroll back. Like you don't get to decide by looking at one post, if you're going to be good at this or not, what's the worst that could happen? Like one of my favorite quotes is nothing changes if nothing changes. And that's like what I thought in the moment. I was like, I need some sort of change. So who cares? I messaged her basically long story short. She told me about what she, what it is that she did. And my thought process literally was what is the worst that can happen to me. There's a lot of really bad things that can happen to you in joining an MLM. And a lot of us people like myself, have shared those things. If you look anywhere in the corner of the internet when someone's talking about MLM in a negative light, showing what actually can happen, I say negative, but honestly, the word is honest light. If you're honestly having a conversation about it, here's what can happen. The FTC says, like I said earlier, 99% aren't going to make money. So that's pretty bad too, which means a lot of people don't profit and lose money. So you're actually in a worse position than you were before you started. I'll probably stop doing it in like a month, but you know, at least I tried. Like I'm, I'm just going to try. We're just going to see what happens. And not only did I not quit after a month, um, it's been five years. My life looks completely and utterly different. I did graduate school. I do have my master's degree. I do not use it um, at all, like in the slightest. I, I would say I use it in like random parts of my life. Um, and like, it yeah, she said, I don't use it at all in the slightest. I do use it in random parts of my life. Let me explain something. My master's degree is in theology and ministry. Am I in that? No. But do I use what I've learned and the tools that I learned? Absolutely. Part of what I learned is researching and writing, right? How to properly research, how to put that research into words and explain it in a paper. 20 pages, right? I use that today more than I ever thought I would, especially when doing YouTube. I did presentations. I learned how to work with people. I learned so much. And I also learned that things aren't always as they seem right off the cusp. You need to go a little deeper, dig a little deeper. I'm saying this even though she said, I don't use it at all. And then the next second she said, well, I do use it in some parts of my life. Well, yeah, yeah, you do. And a lot of times, even if you're not doing what your master's degree was or what your bachelor's degree was, you learned a lot of things outside of it or inside of it too that you're going to use throughout your life it's it's a great thing while like i said i don't really use the theology and ministry aspect of my master's degree i don't regret it i do not regret it at all because it taught me so much more than just that definitely taught me a lot but yeah now i work full-time online i help others to make money on social on social media and my biggest thing now is like showing other people what they're capable of because i had such limiting beliefs then that I thought I would be awful at this. I thought I was like never going to amount to pretty much anything other than like graduating school and finding a job and then working that job until I retire. And I found that there's so much more to life and that I was capable of so much more and that I was worthy of so much more. And now basically what I do is show other people the same and teach them how to do exactly what I did. So can we stop the narrative that if you graduate and start working, that there's not more to life? Can we stop the narrative that you're just going to do that, that job that you start until you die or until you retire? That's not true. Personally, I've switched jobs several times. One, because I completely stopped doing what I was like the career path that I was doing beforehand with my master's and doing a completely different career path now. This narrative that they try to push that I haven't made the point of yet is let's stop this narrative of if you get a job when you get out of college, you're going to do that till you retire or until you die. That's not true. People's career change all the time. Things in life happen and change all the time. You don't know what's gonna happen. So you don't actually know if that's true or not. Maybe for like baby boomers, 
that is part of what their life was. But nowadays, and no disrespect to baby boomers, that's just my idea of kind of what y'all pushed. Not you necessarily, don't get offended. But nowadays, especially people are way more open to changing career paths. They're way more open to changing careers. It's looked down on less to do so. It's looked down on less to change jobs until you like get the pay that you want and find the work schedule that you want. We have to change this narrative that they're pushing up. Once you start that job out of school, that's it for you. Your life's over. You're just doing that. Are we, are we for real? I don't know if I should get into this, but let's, let's, let's break it down. I'm going to break it down just slightly. What are the differences between what they're doing and what, let's say me, what I'm doing, right? I'm working. I work a split shift, uh, where I work five twelves and then I'm off a week. I love that five twelves is not easy, but I get a little weekend break between the five twelves, which is very helpful. And I enjoy what I do. So them, no PTO, no paid leave of any kind, maternity or otherwise, no uh, hourly pay and no pay for working. Only get paid in like commissions when people below you purchase product or when people below you get someone to purchase product. No retirement, no health benefits whatsoever, nothing like that. No benefits of any kind at all. Now that's just very basic. There's several other things that you could put down. I'm sure plenty of you will say them in the comments. I get 15 days of PTO, not including the two weeks off a month I get. I'm lucky to get that, I know. I get health benefits. I get all the benefits, right? I get retirement. I get benefits if I were to get like cancer or something and I need several months off, I would get a certain amount of my pay for those months I wasn't working. That's wild, right? I have really good benefits though. I get maternity leave. I get paid hourly. I get bonuses. Compare the two. I'm going to get paid for working. I, I just am 100%. I'm gonna get paid for working. It's illegal if I'm not getting paid to work. You, on the other hand, are not getting paid to work and it's not illegal if you don't get paid to work. Commissions, I'm sure that you should get paid, but even then, some MLMs haven't paid commission and they haven't gotten in trouble for it, but that's beside the point. I don't get to sit at home all day, every day, but I also don't enjoy sitting at home all day, every day. Sure, I might only get 15 days of PTO off, but at least I get PTO. I'm not gonna go any further than that because I took way too long on that, but I hope that if you didn't get the picture before you do now. I'm gonna let Maddie tell you a little bit about her and then we'll get into actually like what it is that we do. Great! Woo! Hi guys! <laughs> I feel like I just talked a mile a minute. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Right before this, me and I were like, we have to be speedy because we talk a lot. Anyway, oh, no. let me- We can't up. get, we can't get sidetracked because we won't shut up. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Maddie. I am 26 years old. I'm in New York. I've also been in the business we're in for five years. Um, and my background's a lot different, but kind of, I feel like we have like the same reasons of wanting to start, but I come from a fashion PR background. I was working in New York City doing the nine to five, thought I was some hot shot going down into New York and like, you make big girl job. Sucks. Absolutely terrible. I hate like the commute people sweating on you, being on somebody else's like schedule, having to get to the office so early, going the same way to work every single day. I just felt like I was in that movie Groundhog Day. And I was like, no, can't be, can't be me. This won't be me. I, I, there's no way. And I'm somebody that once my heart isn't in something, I'm out the door quick. I've quit every single job that I've ever had. Um, so me being in this five years says a lot. I don't know whether to say that sounds like a you problem. You quit every single job you have. That sounds like a you problem. You've never been fired, right? You quit, you quit every job you've ever had. But at the same time saying like, I don't think I've ever been fired. I think I've always quit the job I had, but not to like, like I've had plenty of jobs where it, I quit because I was done with school, right? I worked the job during school and then I had, then I was getting my full-time job or whatever. The way she said it though, it's like you've quit. I quit every job I had, but this whole thing then sounds like a you problem. It doesn't sound like the industry problem. Problem, right? It didn't sound like the working problem. I mean, obviously, I'm sure they're, they're her industry. I don't know. I'm sure it's terrible, probably the fashion and whatever. I don't know. You, t you tell me. I'm sure someone on here does fashion and stuff. Maybe you change your job. I feel like people don't take the idea seriously enough of if you don't like what you're doing, switch your job. And it's not that easy. I know. I know. I'm saying that from a privileged standpoint. I totally get that. But when it comes to someone like her or the person above her who's got their master's degree, there are other things that you can do. And it could still be in the career path that you want. Um, and I was kind of saying, I was like, I just like need something else. I don't know exactly what that's going to look like. And I'm a true believer that this opportunity really does find you. Um, so somebody told me I would be really good at selling shampoo on Instagram. And I was like, okay. 
it's money. Oh, that makes this even better because money is just, they're in their downfall era. It's not going up from here, y'all. Why do you think Christina Underwood started like a job with another like top leader in MLM? Not a, a job, but she's like started their, they started their own business. Why do you think that is? Think about it. Why would you take on another task if what you're making money-wise and what you're doing is amazing. She bragged about it all the time. Just pretty. I think I got something on my super cute sweater that says, looking like a whole snack. I just thought I'd share that with you. It was very cute. But think about it. Why are all these people becoming coaches, starting side gigs, uh, selling $119 planners? I'm looking at you, Melissa Collins. They need to make more money. Simple enough. They're not making near as much as they used to, but they have these big houses. They have these expensive cars. They have this expensive lifestyle they have to uphold. That's my thought. Let me know yours below. You think so? Okay. Yeah, I would. <laughs> Perfect, because I'm not doing this anymore, <laughs> hell no. And I initially started just to make a few extra hundred dollars, just to give myself some wiggle room to figure out what I actually wanted to do with my life. And I kind of like relate to what you were saying about um, like thinking that you won't amount to much. Like I had a feeling that I was meant for more, but I was never like, I never had one thing that I was like, I'm really good at this and this is what I'm gonna make my career. Like sports i was okay like i made varsity and shit but i wasn't like the pro and i didn't want to go to school you know how she said like i just wanted to make a couple extra hundred dollars a month so monet if you want to make 200 extra dollars a month let's see how much that is a year don't at me because i can't do calculations in my head right now i just recently woke up and i slapped some makeup on and i'm doing this 2400 dollars a year just 2400 dollars a year okay that's it two thousand four hundred dollars a year that's all that she wanted extra 91.3 are at the very bottom rank an average annual a year is 138 dollars and then the median is 34 dollars so you smack dab in the middle 34 dollars the next one which is 4.73 percent so now we are at over 96 percent of people in the company 1200 dollars average annual a year and 1100 let's say 1150 median for a year 96 percent you don't even hit 2000 annually average until you're in the top 1.76%. So we're at over 96% of people making less than $1,200 a year. Then we have 4% left and you're not even at 2,000 a year. That's less than $200 a month. That is wild to me. But yet she's sitting here acting like, oh, I just wanted 200 extra dollars a month. Like it's easy. Well, obviously it's not so easy, but you're not gonna say that it takes you to get to the top 4% to make even close to 2,000 a year, even close to 200 a month. And you know what that doesn't include? The products you purchase. The shampoo, the conditioner, they are insanely expensive. They are so, so expensive. So you're not profiting 200 a month if you're even making that in the top 4%. I'm doing this to show their hypocrisy, right? I just wanted to make 200 extra dollars a month, that's it. For for lacrosse and I just feel like I was like, I'd never found my place. And then when I started doing this, I was like, mm -hmm. this is this it. Is it. This, this is my place. That, and this is what I'm going to dominate in. And it's because it gives you so many opportunities. It opens so many different doors. So now being in this for five years, I've been able to travel the world with my best friends. Me and Emma, I was going to say last month, but it's December. So two months ago, <laughs> we were just in the Bahamas. We're about to be in Vegas in April. We get to travel the world with this business opportunity. We make so much money, which we're going to get into. Um, and like I was saying, we get to help other people do the same exact thing. But Bahamas and Vegas aren't traveling the world. Come on now. And help people get on the best products in the game. Get people on the best opportunity that literally life can offer. We just did a training this weekend and it just opened my eyes that there is no other opportunity like network marketing. So I want you guys to stick around, hear exactly what we do, exactly how we make money and then get started because the time is now. There's no other opportunity like network marketing. Yeah, because the other opportunities you actually get paid when you work. Get into it, best. I said right before you got on, I was like, you're gonna be literally shook when we tell you how much money there that is on the well, table. You're gonna, it's you're gonna literally throw up. Like, because we also just tweaked our compensation plan to make it even better. So I was like, you so how much? <laughs> I can make how much? Um. Anyways, okay. I, I we're gonna we already snappy. I know. Sorry. I'll go. We can't get distracted. Um. Basically, what we do is we work with. I like to call them self care products because if I say beauty products, I think that sometimes like I used to count myself out and be like, 
I'm not into beauty products. Um, I actually spent the entire day today until about five minutes ago with like eight different pimple patches on my face and my hair and like a bun right here. And I was like, no one wants to look at me like that. Like, <laughs> I'm not. Earlier today. <laughs> no, seriously, truly, truly. I actually need, I need you to stay on this live, whoever you are. But once this live ends, I need you to go to my page and look at my story from today because you will see me before this business. <laughs> I actually looked like I needed to be in a mental institution. It was like not a, but, but like not like a funny one, like Shutter Island. Like I was, it was. You can slay in a mental institution, okay? Bad, it was a bad scenario. Anyways, so basically what we do is we work with self-care products, I call them. Hair care, skin care, um, skin care, makeup. We now have wellness products. Products that you use to look and feel good. We basically do solution-based selling. So what that means is I have super oily hair have my whole life. I used to get oily within 12 hours. Now I only wash my hair like one to two times a week. And I teach people, this is what I used. This is what I did in order to go from being oily within 12 hours to now being oily after like day four or day five. And I'm providing solutions to people using the products that I have. We genuinely are so obsessed with these products. Again, if you go look at the picture of me before I was balding, I had literally no hair. I had like four strands of hair and my makeup was horrific. It looked like it was from four days ago. And it was actually from, I think I like fi had finished getting ready the minute that I took that picture. Cause I like took a selfie with all my friends as I was going out. Like it just, the glow up that these products give you, you will be so incredibly obsessed that you would be. Let's talk about what she did differently. She started taking care of her hair, taking care of her skin, taking care of her health. The idea that it's these products that are gonna do this and only those products is ridiculous. You can use products that aren't a Monet and still have an amazing result when you are focusing on helping take care of your hair, making it healthier, focusing on taking care of your skin, getting products that help out your skin, doing things like taking um, certain vitamins that help your nails. And I, I mean, it, it's not just Monet. She started focusing on her hair and her skin and yada, yada, yada. If you do that in general, not using Monet products, you're gonna see a difference. It's ridiculous that these people act like, oh my gosh, it's changed my life. It's like, no, 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 it's not the product. Talking about them anyways, but we just talk about them. We make money from talking about them. My aunt the other day looked at me and was like, what blush are you wearing? And I was like, oh, it's my um, skincare blush. It like actually helps my skin while I'm wearing it. And she was like, where do I get it? And I was like, you get it right, right here. And I made commission from it. My aunt told me that she needs some products for frizz because she's going down to Florida and her hair gets really frizzy. And I was like, oh, I have a whole line for you. It's perfect. It really is just helping people with the problems that they're having and using our business opportunity and our products as a solution to them. We are in 10 different countries. I'm gonna try and go in order, okay? I did skip all of them. <laughs> I don't care because I feel like every time I like get a grasp on what countries we're in, we're expanding somewhere else. So we are always expanding globally. This industry is going to be so large. It is not even funny. It is projected in the next three years for this industry to grow by a hundred and eighty billion dollars. Now, if you're just a listener here and you're not a watcher, like, you know, you throw it on and then you like clean or something. Hey, love you. But if you saw me just a second ago with my hand up, my eyes closed, just know I was choking down bomb thinking about how much of liars they are. Money is doing pretty terrible compared to past years. She's talking about the network marketing atmosphere making. Actually, network marketing is doing way worse than it's ever done. Colleen, no shame sales game says it's 50% worse. And uh, Megan Desart, I always struggle with that last name, says 60%. So you know what? I don't believe you. And I think you're lying just to get people to jump in. Also, even Eric Worre has pointed that out. Take a seat, my gal. We know what we're talking about. Seems like you don't. And that's money that is sitting on the table waiting for you to literally just come into this industry and take over. So basically what we do is we share our pro products that we love. We share our lifestyle. What does life look like for us? When are we working this business? How does this business fit into our life? All that kind of stuff. And we get paid for it. So Maddie's going to tell you exactly how we get paid for it, what, what we make for money. And I'm just telling you right now, your jaw is going to be on the floor. So be prepared. Oh yeah. And guys, the way that I'm explaining it is for new business partners of what your first couple of months will look like or honestly as quickly as you want to make this but this is just one way one way that we get paid if i gave you all the 10 ways you would your mind would be 
I would set Instagram on fire, basically. <laughs> so we can jump on the phone and I'll explain all of them if you want me to. But so when you first enroll in business, you're in something that's called your smart start period. It's an accelerated bonus period because the company literally wants you to win from day one. Minimum, we want you to make your, your return on investment as quickly as possible. My goal and Emma's goal is usually max within 72 hours. And then you're making a profit from that. There's no other these like fees and all this other crazy stuff. It's make money from day one. Let's go. Let's hit the ground running. So that's what happens in your smart start period is what it's called. So no other fees. No. Blah, blah. Yes, there is. There's fees to sign up. There's fees for the product. You got to purchase product. What? You're not going to buy the product. And you're just going to sell it. That's not how that works in MLM. Acting like you're not going to put up any kind of money to then make money in MLM is ridiculous. Most people put several hundred, even thousands of dollars at the beginning, straightforward. I can't think of the word that you use for whatever and still don't make any money or profit. That's just her being deceptive. That's just not true. Let's focus on building what we call blocks. What is a block? For every four clients that you enroll, four people that want hair care, four people that want skincare, that want wellness products, that want skincare makeup, that want body care, they don't wash their hair, they're taking care of their skin. If they're not taking care of their skin, they're hopefully taking care of their body. If they're not doing that, SOS, send them. <laughs> they need everything. <laughs> they need everything. You need to help them start. Um, so that can be mom, dad, sister, cousin, four people that you know that like and trust you that are going to support you no matter what. So that's an easy four right there, your first four customers. So you're obviously going to get commission for each one of those orders that will be. My question is, would you actually support someone no matter what? Like even if what they were doing was a scam and would ultimately hurt them? I don't think most people are like that. Listen, there are people in this world that I love more than myself and that I would do anything for, except there's always an asterisk there. I will not purchase your MLM product because I know that's going to hurt you. I know that will hurt you ultimately. It will not help you. A little bit different depending on what they get. But every single time that you get four clients, customers, you're going to get a $60 bonus. Now, you're going to call up one of your best friends and say, I am so tired, sick and tired of you complaining about your job and how much you hate it. I'm going to help you out of that situation. You're going to do this business with me and we're going to make money together. So then you signed up your first business partner. You're also going to get a bonus from that. They, they vary, but we're going to stick with 120. So that right there is uh, considered a block. So on top of the 60 and the 120, you're going to get an additional 150. Now, wait, there's more <laughs> because in the month of December and for a lot of our new business partners, because they rolled in November or December, all of their bonuses are doubled. So now you're going to get an additional 150 because that block bonus is doubled. So I have the math right here because we did it right before. That's a total of 480 dollars for knowing five people show me what other affiliate program that you can make 480 dollars from five orders basically you're if you're with amazon baby girl you're making ten dollars max <laughs> no probably less amazon honestly probably like hundred dollars worth or 800 you know this was actually not okay i yeah. actually made amazon ten thousand dollars and i made like 450 we were like vomiting when we were looking at the numbers like crazy and brands take so so advantage of a lot of influencers we're going to talk about brands taking advantage of influencers we're going to talk about amazon taking advantage of influencers how much do you make if you make the company ten thousand dollars why can't we talk about network marketing taking advantage of influencers i made arbon almost fifty thousand dollars one month fifty thousand dollars and i got three thousand i'm sorry what fifty thousand dollars you know that three thousand included like bonuses and whatnot are you effing kidding me so let's not, let's talk yeah no let's talk about brands and companies taking advantage of people and influencers um mlms do that too acting like they don't freaking do that. are you serious ten thousand dollars and you made 450 that's pretty good i mean don't get me wrong amazon pay sucks ass but when you're looking at MLM, I would have made more with Amazon if I made them $50,000. Oh, you know what? I would have made less. Well, I wonder because Amazon doesn't pay bonuses, do they? So this shows me $22.50, but I made bonuses to make that $3K. And I think my bonuses were a few hundred dollars. You know what? I actually might have made the same. So it's fun. <laughs> It's so funny that she's like, I made $450 with Amazon when I made them 10,000. Well, you know what? Probably make the same in MLM. If it's so bad, then your MLM's bad too. And there are affiliate programs. 
they're next to nothing. They basically want to send you free stuff for a very, very low commission where with network marketing and direct sales, you get paid on what you're doing and you get paid a lot and so many bonuses and you can keep doing that as much as possible. So again, in this accelerated bonus period, you want to do that minimum two more times. So once you do that, you're obviously going to get the 480 for each of them. So that's going to be just for completing those three blocks, knowing 15 people, three business partners and 12 customers. We all know this. We all have families. We all have friends. There's always people walking down the street. You can get this so easy and we're going to help you every single step of the way. But just for those 15 or those three blocks, it's going to be 1,440. Okay. Okay. All right. That's not bad. How, uh, how many people do that? What's the percentage of people that actually complete that though? Yeah. Not very freaking many. Acting like it's easy. Acting like they're going to help you. She said it's easy. That she's going to help you every step of the way. Okay. How many people in your downline get 15 people? Three blocks. That is complete BS. But the best part is because you did all three of those, you completed something called your my neighborhood. So you're going to get an additional $500 on top of that. So you're looking at $1,940. But I'm not done because you, by just doing that, you hit your first two promotions. So you're going to get $100 each for those. So now you're looking at $2,140. So you hit your first two promotions. So you hit associate market builder. That's 1.76% of the company. That is the third highest percentage of people in a rank. Are you serious? That's in the top 4% of the company. All right. Yeah. So many people do that, huh, Maddie? 15 people. That's it. And you can do that as quickly as you want, as slow. We don't go slow here. So as quickly as you want, you can do that within a month. You can do that within two months. You can do that within a couple hours if you really want, if you got a big network and it can keep going and going and going and going and going. If you want to build 18 blocks, you can do that. If you want to build 24 my neighborhoods, you can go and do that. It's just- We did the math the other day. I think it was like, if you build 18 blocks, it was like 11,000 something. Yeah. Crazy, crazy. It's so crazy. Um, so there's a lot of money on the table, guys. And again, this is just one way, one way, not even counting your commissions that you're going to be earning in this business opportunity. And you can, again, compile that as much as possible. What I love about network marketing is there is no limit. There's nobody telling you, oh, you hit three my neighborhoods. You can't build anymore. Oh, you did this. You can't build anymore. You have to stop at a certain sal or a certain cap, hourly wage, salary, whatever you want to call it. You can do and make as much money as you want. Are you for, are, are you for f***ing real? An hourly, girl, if, if I needed to help them pick up shifts, I could work as much as I wanted to help out and make as much money as I wanted with my hourly pay. There's no cap on it. These people, girl, pull up your jacket, please. Thank you. Um, And that's what I find very empowering about this industry. But let me tell you guys quickly how to get started because you're probably like, okay, okay. I want to make some money. Tell me how to start. Jesus Christ. I want to buy Christmas gifts. Um, so we have something called a product pack. This is an investment into your business. The same way that you would invest in anything else. I feel like some people this scares them away, but how do you get to work? Do you pay for gas? Do you take a train? Do you take a plane? Do you take a bus? Do you, what do you do? You're probably not walking, <laughs> but even if you are walking, what are you wearing? You probably have to wear a certain uniform to go to work. Did you buy that? I know like when you're a bartender, you have to have certain like bar shoes or a uniform. My bartending, my bartending stuff before I even started was well over a thousand dollars. You gotta get your bartending. Is that true bartenders? Over a thousand dollars? Girl. My sins. I'm also yep. personally there. I, in order to be able to work in certified in the industry, I had to get my certificate cert certification. Is that what it's called? <laughs> yeah. So it's like anything else, guys. And right. But it's not because when I pay $275 to take and pass a registry exam, I get paid more. I have a better opportunity to get more money when I work. I will have that registry. That will be mine. I will not lose it. I mean, I guess if you stop paying. To okay, you could probably lose a registry if you really tried hard enough, but that's not very likely. And that registry is going to not run out. I'm not going to run out of shampoo and have to buy more. Ultimately, you probably buy uh, as much shampoo and conditioner and like two months of being a part of Monet that my registry costs that I'm going to have forever. That doesn't make sense to me. Why is me buying shampoo and conditioner an equivalence of me buying and paying for a registry exam that's going to stick with me the rest of my life and help me 
in my job and also get me probably more money ultimately. Now we have a product pack that starts at 149 and then the highest that we have is 650. I want to recommend you guys go with the higher product packs because we just had this training and what it takes to like start a business, what it takes just to go into work, what it takes to go to college, doesn't even compare to the highest investment that we have. Two things are gonna happen with that. You're gonna get so much product with the higher product packs that we have, where you can buy a bunch of different things, have more resources for yourself to try out and use a bunch of different things. So one, get the best results, but also other, like show people other testimonials. You can use it on your friends and family. So you're gonna have more resources. And then because with our product, higher product packs, you're gonna be, like you're gonna have one a lot more skin in the game and you're gonna be even closer to your first couple of promotions so you're gonna be able to build very very quickly and very sustainably um so the highest one that we have is 650 then it goes down to 400 and then there's 249 and then 199 and then the 149 and everything is customized to your exact hair needs, your exact skin needs, and which, which, whatever product pack that you do get, you're gonna get all the same resources, all the mentorship, all the training, all the tools, literally a blueprint step-by-step -step guide of how to be successful and so much support along the way and people helping you, holding you accountable to build your business. And that's the name of the game, guys. It's that simple. Worst case scenario, there's a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you're like these, it's that simple. If it's so simple and easy as you said, Maddie, which God, I hope that's her name. Then why do less than 5% of your entire company do it? And you know what? It's very likely that the majority of that 5% doesn't even earn a profit because if they're getting paid $2,500 a year and they're paying $100 a month for shampoo and conditioner and then another 50 for skincare and then another $100 for wellness, they're not profiting. Stop lying to people crazy i don't know i don't love the products that much which probably won't happen crazy part maybe <laughs> you can be like you know it's not for me i try it out i gave it my all it's not for me we're trying that 30 day period and then wipe your hands clean of it but there's so much money to be made in this industry yeah but when you try to return it they're like you've only used it for 30 days you should use it for at least 90. there's so much going to be happening with the network marketing especially with money and you want a piece of this pie ASAP. I know I do. And again, we have, we just launched compensation plan enhancements. So when they launched that, I was like, there's even, <laughs> there's even more money. To no, make it's insane. It's literally, if you are someone who is looking to make money on the amount of girls, I've actually talked to probably 25 girls today. There's They've made compensation plan enhancements because Monate's doing so poorly. They're doing so bad that they had to put enhancements on their comp plan. They are hemorrhaging people. It's not because they love you so much. Money doesn't give a crap about you. What they want is people there to make money for them. Like literally just chatting about like life. And they're like, oh, I'm really interested in like starting content creation or I wanna make money on social media or I wanna start being a content creator. And I'm telling you right now, if you are someone who wants to make money online, network marketing is the way to do it. Most affiliate programs, and that's where like, content creators are making money from is they pay between like five max like 10 percent commission we make up to 45 percent commission plus bonuses like but as an affiliate for liquid iv why have i made money and profited every month that i've had purchases that i've had people purchase from it and use my code do i have to build a team no do they get to take 20 percent off and not get upcharged for products because it's an MLM? No. Do I get to enjoy the product too? And a lot of times for free because Liquid IV just sends out like free sh all the time. Thanks Liquid IV. All I have to do is say, hey, uh, I have a 20% discount. Actually, it's 25% right now because it's like the holidays or whatever. If you like Liquid IV and you purchased it already, or if you want to try it, use that discount code, you'll get 20% off. It's an affiliate link, so I get a small commission from it, but it's just there to help you ultimately. I profited from Liquid IV and I don't have to push it. I don't have to build a team. I don't have to do Zoom calls. I don't have to do any of that. It's just, it's not the same thing. If you are someone looking to make money online, I'm, I'm sorry, I truly don't think there is a better way, a smarter way to make money on the social space, but network marketing. What? Hi. <laughs> Listen, 
YouTube, I make money, right? I make money doing this now. I mean, I did it before when I didn't make money, but I make money doing this. They actually lowered the amount recently of followers and I don't know if they lowered watch hours though, but of like subscribers you need to make money. It used to be a thousand when I was like doing it, but now it's 500. This is an excellent way to make money, but you have to be dedicated. You have to be okay not making money starting off because you have to like build your YouTube. This is an excellent way. And I can guarantee you a lot more people who try to make money on YouTube, profit. I profit. I make a good income. I love it. It's fun. Well, to me, it's a way better chance of making money and a way better opportunity than MLM. It's just wild to me that they say these things. And the best part is you can do other things on the side. I make money through like to know it through my Amazon shop through I have a couple brands that pay me through like a different like uh, Abercrombie pays like through a link, I get commission from them. I get commission from Merit Beauty. I get commission from all these other places. I'm still working with other beauty brands, but I'm making this money. It doesn't even fucking compare to any affiliate program out there. I'm telling you right now. Is Mane okay with you making money from makeup? Because they sell makeup. Why do I feel like that's against their terms of, well, I guess it's privacy. Their, their terms of service, I guess we'll, we'll call it. I don't know. Interesting. I've said it 18 times, but if you're looking to make money on social media, I don't know why you're, you haven't started network marketing yet. And if you have not, the best time to start was yesterday, but the next best time to start is today. Okay, men, mic drop, that's it. I have nothing else to say. That was amazing. No, no. But actually, one last thing to say. If you guys have any questions, <laughs> yeah, this is to close it out. If you have any questions, if you want to know a little bit more about the compensation plan, if you want to hop on the phone with either one of us and get started, just slide into the DMs. Our DMs are always open. And let's get you started today. Today. Um, All right. Bye, guys. Thank you for bye. listening. Let's okay. Oh, I couldn't stand much more of that video, to be honest. It was a bit annoying to watch. But you know what? We were able to make some good points, weren't we? I'm sure plenty of you made. There, there was stuff that I didn't talk about or didn't hit that I could have. But I think about it after I press play and I'm like, oh, I don't want to pause again. So I'm sure plenty of you will talk about it in the comments. But thank you for being here. Another ridiculous MLM video. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed the video or if you want to see more or if you just want to subscribe and be a subscriber of mine. I do lives. I try to do lives at least once a week. You can hit the bell button if you want to get notified when I post or when a live goes up or whatever. Thanks for being here. Y'all don't join an MLM. I'll also, don't do MRR, Master Resale Rights, stay far away. Don't listen to Dave. If you're wondering what that is, I have other videos on it. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye.